All right, folks, so today we're going to be talking about the Columbia 1314. Um, this instrument is used, is made to be used subgingively and in any area of the mouth. Um, indications for the Columbia 1314 is that is for small to moderate calculus. The contraindications for this for the universal cura and, and for any other scaling instrument is that is for green stains because of underlying demineralized enamel. Um, before we move on, let's talk about the instrument itself. So now this is the handle, this is the shank, and then this would be your working end. This instrument, as you can see, has two cutting edges and the face of the blade is at a 90 degree angle to the terminal shank. Um, let's talk about our modified pen grasp. So you should have your thumb and your pointer finger on the shank, I mean on the handle, I'm so sorry. You should have it in a soft C so that when you are, come, when it comes to rolling the instrument, you could easily roll it. You are then going to place your middle finger on the shank and it should be also touching your pointer finger. You're then going to use your ring finger as your fulcrum, but it should still be touching your middle finger. So in other words, all three fingers should be working as one unit. unit. And lastly, your pinky finger should just be either tucked in or just out of the way. We're not using our pinky finger at all. So then now when you move on to your typothon or in a person's mouth, <laughs> um, you are going to use, like I said before, you're going to use your thumb as your fulcrum. So you're going to place your fulcrum, you're going to be placing your fulcrum in posterior teeth, you're going to be placing your fulcrum on the occlusal, or for anterior, you're going to be placing your fulcrum on incisal edges. You should always place your fulcrum four to, one to four teeth away from the tooth you are working on. So you're going to place your fulcrum, you're going to always start at the most posterior teeth when working on posterior teeth, of course. So... You're going to first place your fulcrum. You're then going to continue by making sure you're working, you're using your right working end. So as you can see, this is the right working end. Let me show you the wrong. So this would be the wrong working end because it's hugging the tooth. That's wrong. You will then continue by placing your fulcrum once again. Confirming your right working end, which is, you could confirm with the V to the D. You would then start at the distal line angle. You would insert your instrument subgingivally at the distal line angle with the blade closed, which is 0 to 40 degrees. You would then open your blade. So insert closed, open your blade by pivoting your hand a little bit. So the blade is at a 90 degree angle. You will then activate it by starting your rocking and rolling until you get interproximal. You then would change your instrument around to go mesially. You would insert, close, open, and then rock and roll. until you get interproximal. Another thing is too, when you're working on the maxillary teeth, you make sure that your wrist is upwards. It shouldn't be out or to the side. It should be straight upwards on your fulcrum. And you also always make sure for adaptation that you are using the toe third of the working end. So you insert, open, rock, you switch, you insert, open, oops, and you rock and roll the best that you can. 
Always remember to be using your wrists too for rocking and your fingers for rolling. Okay, and you would also do the palatal for that side. Now let's turn around and do the mandible. So, like I said, you would straight up go for, have your wrist straight up for the maxillary. For the mandible, it would be the opposite. You, so you would have your wrist straight down on your fulcrum. But once again, everything else is the same that applies. So you would still check your right work, make sure you still are looking for your, you, make sure you are still using your right working end. So this is hugging the tooth, that would be wrong. This would be your right working end and you confirm with the V to the D. You once again start at the distal line angle. You insert subgingerally. You insert closed, you open, pivot a little so you are making sure you're using the toe third of the working end and then you rock and then you roll. Once again, turn your instrument to go mesially. Use an insert, close, open. You do the same. Just the line angle, insert, closed, open. And then insert, closed, open. until you are interproximal and make sure your fulcrum does not get lazy i know it's hard so then now we can move on you would also do let's actually do the um lingual for this so you would still do the same check the right working in that's good because it's v to the d you would insert, closed, open, and then rock, and then do the same. You would. It's kind of hard over here because we're missing a tooth. That's where I would fulcrum. But you close. You insert, closed, open, and you rock, and you roll. So then now let's do the anterior teeth. So then once again, like I said before, you will have your wrist upwards. This time we're fulcruming on an incisal edge. You would check for Pac-Man. Or I, I like to check more as like I know that the blade should be on the tooth. Because if it's outwards, you're not doing anything. So the tooth is, the blade is on the tooth. I'm at technically at 12 o'clock. So I would be doing away surfaces. Like I said, for the posterior teeth, you always work from the most posterior teeth forward. Um, for 12 o'clock, you would do away surfaces and you would do from right to left, canine to canine. Um, right here, I'm just going to do the central incisor just to show you guys um so you would insert once again open toe thirds and you would rock and make sure you're rolling you could get stuck on the gingiva because it's and then you also make sure once you get into proximal that your terminal shank is straight out coming out of the tooth shouldn't be here shouldn't be up there it's straight out of the tooth with your wrist once again upwards your fulcrum pushing upwards on the tooth you would insert closed open you rock this could be a little tricky because this ginger is sticky maybe i'm not rolling enough and there you go you would also do the palatal for that one. Then, once again, straightforward, you would go straight down 
on the mandible. You could also check, like I said, make sure that the blade is on the tooth. You could also check Pac-Man, it's eating that way. Or if we like, I'm the type of person that likes to double check. I actually think that this would be the right. Actually, no, because Pac-Man is eating that way. Um, I honestly get a little bit, I always get a little bit confused with the interior teeth, especially the mandible. I don't know why. Just, so, I believe it would be this way. Pac-Man's eating that way, okay? So then you would insert, open, and then you would rock. Once again, terminal shank should be pointing straight out of the tooth. As you see, my wrist is straight down, coming straight down for the mandible. So you insert, close, open, and rock. All right. You would also do the lingual side for that. That'll be all for today, folks. Thank you.